In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the Gboard or the Google Keyboard on the Samsung Galaxy A15. First, we need to install the keyboard. So open the Play Store, then use the search function and look for Gboard. Tap on it and then select install. Once installed, you can choose to launch it from the Play Store or you can just go back to the home screen and in the apps drawer, you should see it there. So tap on that to launch it. Then we'll need to enable it on our device. So tap on this button labeled enable in settings. Then tap on this toggle next to Gboard to turn it on. Confirm that you wish to turn it on and then go back. The next step is to make it our default keyboard. So tap on select input method, then choose Gboard. Then select done and you'll be brought to the settings main menu. Here, you can customize your Gboard to your preferences. You can add languages. You can also have preferences enabled or disabled. For example, sound on key press, one-handed mode, haptic feedback, so it's up to you to customize these options. You can also change the theme, uh, customize your text correction settings, and all these other options. You'll also notice that when you go to type something out, that you'll be now using the Google keyboard. Say, for example, you've added languages to your keyboard. So you've come to the language section, you've selected add keyboard, and you've added the language. If you have multiple languages on the keyboard, what you want to do if you wish to switch between languages is tap on this language icon here in the form of a globe. So long press on it and a list of all keyboard languages that are added to your Gboard will appear. So you can use this list to switch between languages easily. So as I'm currently on English US, I can switch to the Tian Viet or the Vietnam keyboard and it will be changed automatically. So now I'll be typing in Vietnamese or whatever language you've chosen. If you can also change languages by using the space bar. So it's the same method, long press, the keyboard language list will appear and you can choose the language you wish to use. You can also enable voice typing by tapping on this microphone icon that appears on the keyboard taskbar. And then you'll have to give it permissions. Then you'll notice that when you start speaking, so say when you start speaking, when you start speaking, it will automatically write what you're saying. So it's really useful, especially if you can't take notes easily and you can just use the microphone icon to help. If you wish to stop the recording, just tap on the icon again and it will stop taking your notes automatically. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.